This is considered one of the most congested cities in the world. During rush hours, cars and motorcycles can be stuck in traffic for hours. In Shenzhen here, I paid a visit to Jakarta, the capital of Indonesia, to find out how a newly built railway can ease some of the country's most congested roads. A high-speed rail links Indonesia's two largest cities. This rail is very special, built with Chinese high-speed rail technology and the first high-speed rail in Southeast Asia. This is a vaccine partnership infrastructure between Indonesia and RRT. And I am optimistic that this project will be able to solve it. It feels very good, both when I sit and when I walk. This is the situation. This is the situation. And this, over 140 kilometers long, this rail links Indonesia's capital Jakarta with the country's fourth largest city, Bandung. Traffic has been pretty busy between the two cities. Pre-pandemic data suggests some 40 million cars commuted between the two cities every year and another 4 million commuters used the intercity trains. The commute used to take at least three hours but it could sometimes be more than double that. With high-speed rail, commute time has been reduced to less than 45 minutes. Very fast. They're yeah. doing it very fast. I mean, you know, to top in the station. Yeah. Right? Fernando Shuhrlem is a young engineer from Jakarta who has been working on the Jakarta Bandung high-speed railway for three years. We were able to get on board one of the test rides prior to the official opening of the rail service. Hey, While we boarded the test train, we ran into Adito Janu Prabowa from KCIC. Kreta Cipat Indonesia, China, the joint venture that operates the high speed rail. I'm the PAC for the, all the testing with the Indonesian Ministry of Transportation. Mm -hmm. ah. So I coordinate all the testing from, with the ministry. Yeah. So far, so good? So far, so good. Well, the contract with China, especially, doing a very marvelous job. Wow. So I'm very surprised with the uh, the quality is so nice. Kreta Cepat means fast train in the Indonesian language. Oh, have a seat here. Yes. It's an honor for me actually oh. because this is also my first job since I was graduated from university in 2019. Yes. So Herlum joined the project in 2020. He was recruited by the Chinese company responsible for constructing and installing the telecommunication technologies for the new high-speed rail. For the friends or family members who know that you are working on this project, are they excited to be ask you about questions about this? Of office? course, they are very curious about this project. They always ask me when will this project, this high-speed rail, really open? They really want to try this train. Some of them also ask me for some help to put their names uh, so I, I can get a ticket for them. Oh, but can you do that? No. <laughs> the railway has been generating much buzz, not just in Indonesia, but around the world. Sleek design and state-of-the-art technology. The Jakarta-Bandung high-speed train. Kereta cepat Indonesia, China. The pride of a nation. The first high-speed train service in Southeast Asia. For decades, Indonesia has been talking about how high-speed rail services could be used as a means to bring development from a resource-rich Java island to other parts of the country. Both China and Japan showed interest in offering technological support. It was not until 2015 that China won the bet to provide a high-speed rail. China already has the world's longest high-speed rail network stretching over 40,000 kilometers, about the same length as the Earth equator. It's given Chinese engineers accumulated experience in building high-speed rail practically anywhere, including high-altitude, earthquake-prone, and coastal areas. 
With a design speed of up to 350 km per hour, the Jakarta Bandung High Speed Rail makes Indonesia the second country in the world to have the fastest commercial train operation after China. 那么雅万高铁呢，就是我们在我们所有的高速铁路的这个系列里面，我们选择了目前来看在中国技术标准最高、这条铁路呢也就意味着在世界上除了我们中国具有三百五十公里运行速度之外的第二个在印尼的运行
pride of having the first high-speed train. Ya, uh, harapannya uh, tentu pertama adalah dari sisi perekonomian Indonesia bisa maju. Lalu yang kedua, Indonesia tidak tertinggal dari teknologi yang putahir. Ya karena masa kita kalah. Ya saya bangga dengan adanya kereta cepat Jakarta Bandung ini. Before the official launch of the high-speed rail line, we took Tayana on a tour of one of the bullet trains at the Bandung depot. Ini sangat luar biasa. Uh, biasanya saya di luar, di luar kita ngambil gambar, kita hujan-hujanan, kita panas-panasan. Tiba-tiba saya ada di dalam ruangan dan ini sangat luar biasa. Inside the carriage, it's not just the speed that's getting more interesting. This pattern is, in fact, a traditional pattern from Indonesia. It's wow. called batik pattern. This is mega mendung batik from Ooh. Cirebon. Wow. Yeah. Wow. It looks similar all. It's dress, a, it, actually, it? yeah, the dress that I'm wearing is also a batik dress, a, uh -huh. a different kind. Audrey Wutoyo is a journalist from Indonesia's national TV network, TVR's English News Division. During my trip to Indonesia, we were able to get on the train together and film a special tour inside. It is also a staple project under the Belt and Road Initiative, a China-led globalization that is entering its 10th year now. Wutoyo is very familiar with Chinese high-speed trains. Yeah, but still, do, this was her this first one. time on board the fast train in her hometown. Also been on a high-speed train in China ah. from Xi'an to Chengdu and back, and I would say this is quite similar. This high-speed train will bring so many benefits, especially for the livelihoods of the Indonesian people. Our special segment went smoothly and it got pretty positive feedback. Congrats, Indonesia, speed in the future. Hopefully, the Jakarta ban on high-speed trade will be extended. Thanks to both countries' commitment, reliability. Nice coverage, indeed. But more importantly, the rail is injecting new vitality into the Indonesian economy. Sitting inside the carriage, it doesn't feel too different from what I am used to back in China. The same high-speed train technology and the same smooth ride. But when I look outside the window, the tropical landscape brings me back to this Southeast Asian country. In addition to easy intercity traffic, the new rail promises to provide economic boosts along the line. Over 50,000 jobs have already been created. This has been a flagship project in the cooperation between China and Indonesia. And according to China's own experience, once integrated, into the normal social and economic life of the Indonesia people. I strongly believe this project will bring about more changes, including creating more economic growth points in the future. We have to have the confidence in the wisdom, political wisdom of all governments and the people of the developing countries to make their best choice. The Jakarta Bandung High Speed Rail is designed to last a century, and a century lasting symbol of China's Belt and Road Initiative, coinciding with Indonesia's vision of becoming a global maritime fulcrum. A strong railway network to help Indonesia become a logistic center not just for the region, but for the world. Kalau sudah tersambung, ada konektivitas antar kota, antar provinsi dengan uh, kereta cepat ya, tentu saja akan mempercepat itu. Itulah pentingnya infrastruktur, itulah pentingnya kecepatan, itulah pentingnya mobilitas barang dan manusia yang cepat, karena itu adalah daya saing. The hope is that the high-speed train technology can provide new streams to boost Indonesia's economic development and improve people's livelihood. Rail services can help improve connectivity in countries like Indonesia where expanding the existing road system can be challenging and the air travel can be costly for many people. The potential for the Jakarta Bandio High Speed Rail is that it can be integrated with other means of public transport. For example, the Metro, the Light Rail, and of course, the existing long distance train services. And the hope is that that this high-speed railway can help change people's travel habit, just like what the fire trains have done in China.